Hey folks, welcome back. Today we're making venison jerky. So stay tuned for a great recipe start to finish. It's going to be awesome. Alright, here's our meat. We prepped this uh, last night. Um, and same if you're using beef or using deer meat. Take all the sinuates out, take all the wet leather out, take as much of the fat out, big pieces of fat out as you can. Um, and cut it into manageable by manageable size chunks, which for this grinder is pretty big. Then you need your scale. Right, everything's based on weight. So we're gonna go ahead and weigh this up. And it is four pounds, 13 ounces. So very close to five pounds. This is, this is we're giving you recipe for five pound batch today. So that's close enough for five pound batch. But starts out with the scale. And we're just gonna go ahead and get this up on our grinder and um, this grinder doesn't play we got if you look here closely we got the large plate in it for our first grind okay so that's uh, that's the time saver so we're gonna go ahead and start this guy up and hopefully it's very cold this morning so well, this grinder you can use in uh, long strips just Basically, it'll take them as fast as we can put them in there. And we'll be able to do this five pounds in just a very few minutes. This is uh, the number five size grinder. You know, this is, this is very lean beef. Uh, we want that. Uh, jerky uh, fat doesn't dry uh, in your jerky. Here's our little baby. She snuggled up under the blanket watching the making of the jerky, waiting for something to fall. Cutest dog in the world. Okay, now that you've got your, uh, got your first grind done, it's time to put in your your seasoning blend. Now, uh, you can find a thousand recipes for seasoning blends. Um, this is mine. The, the biggest thing is to make sure that you have that, that ratio of your cure. Um, for five pounds of meat, it's five tablespoons of salt and one teaspoon of um, sodium nitrate, lemon cure, or whatever. Or you can also use just the uh, five uh, tablespoons of curing salt, which is already has that mixture, and then your own spice blend. And everybody's gonna want something different. Um, they actually say to dissolve this in a little water, um, which I kind of forgot to do there, but it'll, uh, it'll still work the same. We'll give it a little water. Pour that right in. Now, also, you can use these uh, pre pre uh, bagged uh, jerky spices. This one's a backwards from uh, Bass Pro. Uh, I've tried a lot of them, and they're all good. <clears throat> this is just the original. Can't do spicy around here, or Mrs. Backwoods will not touch it. So, we're making this up for some uh, some fishing food here. This over the sink. And we're just going to blend this all together really well. <clears throat> now, you need to stir this very uh, well for uh, at least a few minutes. Uh, you'll see it start to become tacky, sticky. Um, that's kind of what we're looking for. Uh, the way we're going to do it here is not going to be you know, have to do it as long as you might normally would because we're going to send this back to the grinder one more time. So, just want to make sure my spices are, are um, spread out of there. We'll go ahead and put it right back in the tray. See the second time it goes through, the, the texture is much different. A, it's getting ground the second time, and B, 
uh, that salt and lymph there are already working on uh, releasing the protein causing the attack. You see it staying in, in long tubes. It's pretty cold out here this morning. It's in the 30s. And, uh, one of the reasons we decided to do this today. And all the folks up north are in a blizzard right now. It's cold here, but it's sunny and about 35 here at uh, 8 a.m. Alright, here's the setup. We have attached the uh, jerky extruder limb, jerky extruder to our grinder. It is a process. It has a roll of wax paper underneath here. It comes up and catches your jerky on this side. Today we're going to use the stick plate on it. It comes with three different plates. Uh, one for flat sticks, one for round sticks, and one for uh, burgers. Uh, it just squirts out a big square of meat, a rectangle. So we're uh, slightly loaded, we already got it coming out, and it has this long plate. Here at the end we already have our dehydrator racks ready to go. And these uh, shears also come with the kit to, to slice this off at the appropriate length. Um, they must have forethought this a little bit because the length of this uh, platform is the same as the length of the dehydrator racks. So that'll give you a good gauge on how long to cut them. It is a two-person operation, however. So we just uh, got Mrs. Backwoods up and uh, out and ready to help me out uh, making these because one person needs to feed this and one person needs to ensure that this feeds properly so that your sticks are uh, uniform as they come out. But it will be a uh, very professional looking jerky and it does it in half the time of a uh, jerky gun. look like ready to go into the dehydrator. All right, this is our uh, stainless steel tin tray dehydrator and we've skipped a rose in these with the uh, with the jerky. Um, these I sprinkle with a little bit of our Backwoods Gourmet um, steak and brisket rub while they're still tacky so that'll stick to the outside. Get a little extra bite on those and we just cut those strips and put them on the bottom. I'm going to give them about an hour and we'll be able to take them off of the wax paper and put them directly on the racks. All right, we have the dehydrator on. It's been about an hour. It's on the highest setting. Okay, this one goes to uh, 160. We'll take a quick look at them before the tray's out. See, they're starting to dry already. Well, we're just checking to see if they'll roll right off this wax paper without tearing them. Um, they're getting pretty good right now, so we're going to go ahead and take them off the wax paper. We're also going to check these uh, down the bottom, the Chef's Choice ones. And that wax paper is starting to peel off of them right now. It's ripping a little bit, but uh, we'll go ahead and get it off of one side of these. Just have to be careful with them. You could do the whole batch like this if you wanted to. If you didn't have that, you know, nice extruder that we have, you could do it with the, the wax paper like this and make them in strips. Just get a nice, good pair of scissors between the wax paper. It will, it will dry all right. Get started, and you just have to be careful to get all the wax paper off of them. They're starting to, you know, firm up. So this will help the drying process real, a lot. So we'll go ahead and uh, start getting them off there and put them right straight on the racks. Okay, the best method I've found for this is just to kind of peel this, start the paper back at the top. Uh, grab 
all four links with your hand and then peel this paper straight back like that. Comes off nice and clean. Those are your sticks. Just lay them right back on your, on your tray. So they're looking pretty and they're smelling awesome. Okay, they're all off the paper now. And we're gonna continue until they're around 28% moisture. And we'll show you how we test that in a little while. I did want to show you one modification I made to my limb dehydrator. I actually found a 16 by 16 HEPA rated air filter and I taped that to the back of it uh, where it sucks the air in just to filter the air coming into it. Uh, we found the first few things we did with it uh, tended to mold up after a while so I'm hoping to catch the uh, mold spores just make sure there's nice clean air going through there. So we are doing this outside. All right, we got old, uh, our old wooden box going here. All I've done was uh, lit a few charcoals and a couple of chunks of apple wood. We're gonna stick them in the bottom there on the um, metal pan. And we're gonna transfer our trays into these slots. Get a little smoke on them. All right, these guys are nice and kind of look, starting to get dry on the outside. So we're gonna go ahead and stack them all up. We'll transfer them over to the smoker. Let them get a little smoke on them. EVP. I showed you this before way back on uh, smoked tomatoes, but these trays are made to fit right in the box. So you don't have no fiddling with them. You just take them right out, put them right in there. Let's close it up so that fire will die down. How long are you leaving in there? Depends on how smoky you want your jerky. You may not want to smoke it at all. You may want it uh, a little hint of smoke like me, so I'll probably gonna leave it in there about an hour at the most. And we'll return it to the dehydrator. This is a moisture tester. And it has, uh, I'll show you a couple things about it here. It's relatively inexpensive, it's battery operated. It has uh, these two probes that stick off the front and you basically just press those probes into whatever you want to test the moisture on. And in this case, it's, uh, it's jerky. So, and it'll give you a percentage readout here on the screen. Right now it's reading obviously 0%. And we're going to put those probes into our jerky to see what uh, percent of the moisture is left in them. So stand by and we'll test a few. Okay, so we took a stick off of there and we're going to press these little, we're going to press the little probes right into it. And that, uh, actually I got it on hold right now. Okay, and it's, when it's doing that, it means it's over 50% uh, moisture, so it's just got a ways to go. So it's been about eight hours. When did it go in, we're going to start testing the moisture level on these. And uh, even though it's beeping, this is about 33. And so we're going to give it a, a little, the old pen test. And that's about like a jack link. So we're gonna go ahead and take it out. We're gonna go through all these and test them. Okay, that one's already at, uh, it's already at 10 or 12%. So we're gonna go and take them out as they dry and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna package them up. Okay, the jerky's ready as we're coming off here. We're vacuum packing it. And all we're doing is taking the sealer on the vacuum packer partitioning bags off into three sections with a double heat seal, sliding them down, back and pack them, and it's just like the stuff you get at the store, minus the label. 